you know, the CEO of an organisation needs to make the decision mm. to let go and empower their people yes. to represent their brand. Hello, I'm here again with Tony Hughes, my friend, author, speaker, uh, and a leader, thought leader in, in what's happening in the sales world. And with the idea of thought leadership in mind, Tony, I wanted to ask you a question. I read an, an article you wrote recently I thought was absolutely fascinating uh, about artificial intelligence selling is what you titled it. Uh, and you talked a little bit about what's been happening in technology and what's, been, what's going to happen in technology in the future. And I thought we'd like to share some of that with your audience right now. What do you see as the real trends happening in technology in relation to selling? Yeah, thanks, John. The thing that really sparked that for me was I actually read an article on AI computing and how it, it really is in the here and now. Uh, right. it's, it's no longer science fiction and it's, it's going to impact the business world enormously. The thing we all know is that in the last few years, the trends have been social, mobile, cloud and then also big data so i know they sound like cliches but you know they've been the four technology trends that people have been talking about that are really driving things and they're not going to go away they're only going to become more important for people but i think there's going to be three things that actually get added to that mix what are they well the first one is is artificial intelligence you know the 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 ability to do predictive analytics which is the second thing so applying business intelligence down at a micro predictive level to try and predict buying behavior this whole concept of, uh, of, of, of trigger events so monitoring social media monitoring the internet and actually pr predicting when are people going into a buying cycle so salespeople themselves are not going to do that it's you're saying that technology is going to do all that work that salespeople probably did in the past or to some extent well that's maybe the scary thing that people would feel but at the end of the day people buy from those they like and trust. So I, I think relationship selling will never go away, but the smarter salespeople are going to get very good at using the technology. And whether it's as simple as monitoring a platform like LinkedIn to look for trigger events, for example, when someone changes a role, uh, if you look for mergers and acquisitions, you look for scandals in the press if a company's in some kind of crisis. So, But the ability to use technology to do a lot of that work for people, buyers are certainly harnessing technology well. I think that sellers in many ways need to actually catch up. So there's, there's big data that's, mm -hmm. that's going to morph into micro predictive analytics. There's business intelligence. And then the third new thing that's coming along is, is near field computing. So mobility computing where, yeah. where, where you okay. can tell where people are. So, so wearable technologies, which will work with these predictive analytics tools, more in a B2C world is... is I was going to say, isn't that more be. B2C than B2B? It, it, it is B2C from a selling point of view, but from, from, a, from a productivity point of view and from a service delivery point of view, it's got some big implications for B2B. But all of these things will filter through. Okay. So what does a salesperson and sales managers and sales directors need to think about this, how do they need to respond to, to the new technologies to really gain the, the value and the, and the benefits? Well, you raised a really important question a minute ago, which is, can salespeople really use these technologies? And, yeah. it, and it really is a it big... It frightens me. Yeah, it really is. Well, it, it frightened me until recently as well, right, as far as B2B and social goes. Mm -hmm. But the reality is we've been talking for years about sales and marketing coming together and working as one. Mm -hmm. The concept of a chief revenue officer that would sit across sales and marketing right. for customer experience and service delivery for that whole end-to-end -end experience, mm -hmm. it's never been more important because I think marketing can use these technologies well and they can support salespeople. So sales and marketing coming together together to equip salespeople with insights, to equip, uh, to equip them with early engagement opportunities based on social listening is going to be very important. Salespeople, I guess, don't necessarily need to become expert in the technology. It's going to be like a tool that will help them. Yes. Uh, and so the organisation themselves have to make sure they're investing in that sort of technology to give their value to the sales guy to do a yeah. better job of selling. They do, and that's the scary thing for an organisation. You know, the CEO of an organisation needs to make the decision mm. to let go and empower their people yes. to represent their brand. And, and there's some then there's some risk in that. And that's why cultural alignment of employees, you know, with the organisation's values has never been more important because everybody represents the brand and salespeople need to become micro marketers. Great advice, Tony. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, and, I, and I look forward to the next time that we have a discussion and I will learn even more from you. Thank you. Thanks, John.